Look, if you're just going to keep feeling sorry for yourself, we might as well turn back now. Wait in the car, eh? It's Barbara in. Mum! Hello, Barbara. Another missionary from the Land of Hope. You've got a cheek after yesterday. I'm Bob's eldest daughter, Dawn. Please hear me out. I can't leave things the way they were yesterday. Isn't that all you're fit for, leaving things in a mess? Leaving Mum? Leaving us? Josh, I don't want to see, speak or even think about you again. You might have been going blind, but your brain's about to pack in if you can't understand why. I'd just like a bit of time to try and say sorry for what's happened. Don't you think you've hurt him enough already? Barbara, please, let my dad speak to him. Josh. Five minutes. What about you? I just haven't been very good at it. As a dad, I've been an idiot. But Jamie had tried to be a mate. Where is he now? Sleeping his way around Spain. With Dawn, I was like a big brother. She ended up marrying my best mate when she was 19. I I've never known who my kids have wanted me to be. Just yourself would have done. And that is who I intend to be from now on. I want to start getting it right. You know, when Carly heard you were going blind, she stayed up all night crying. I heard her because I couldn't sleep. Well done, Dad. Some start you've made to getting it right. That wasn't my idea. I'm so sorry I went along with it. You've got to believe me. I'm sorry too. Dad? It's no use, John. Dad? Josh? Thought maybe I was wrong. Thought maybe you might be given another chance, actually. If that's all right. All right, it's... Whoa. It's not a lay. Of course, yeah, of course. Fancy a drink? Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> so, news from home. After yesterday? Everyone hates you. Great. What changed your mind? Didn't say I had yet. No, no, no. But you're here, aren't you? I just thought what I was saying before about learned behaviour. The way you were running off. You learnt that. And if you can learn one thing, you can learn something new. Something better, actually. You think I'm worth forgiving? Dunno. Thought I'd try and find out. Josh sprang from. Don't know. Get you anything? A cup of cold poison, perhaps? Oh, don't start. Have you any idea how much trouble you've caused? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, and by the way, you've got to move your stag night to tomorrow. What? Well, if it's the 15th, you'll all come into the church with hangovers. How long have they been there? A while. Luke, how do I... <laughs> no way! Why not? Why not? Because tomorrow is the anniversary of my first marriage. Good enough for you? No. They seem to be getting on really well, don't they? You're not listening, Bib. Do you want to marry my daughter or not? Of course I do, but... As much as I hate being the villain in all of this, I don't see anybody else coming forward to organise everything. So, if you want to make her happy, you'll do it my way. All right? All right. Good. <laughs> That's some right good dudes in there. Look who's here! Hello, Josh. Nice to see you. Yeah, thanks. Like a word with you, please, Bob. Yeah, thought you might. Uh, you take stuff upstairs, son. I'll be with you in a sec. Right, I'll catch you later. Now, before you say anything, I was well within my rights this afternoon. Never mind that. Sit down. Okay. I've realised what we need 
to make us truly happy together. You have. Bob, I'd like us to have a baby.